I just switched over to my cell phone because I don't have another camera to film how to put this on. So to start, the first thing you do is you have to put the uh, transmitter into the little clip here, which is actually really easy. It just slides in like this and you can actually even slide it across if you need to. Next thing would be to put the little screwing, screw on adapter into the hole here and then tighten this up the top wheel until it's nice and tight on there against this. And now this is ready to put on the camera. So this just slides into your hot shoe here. Just like so. And then you tighten the second wheel right here to the camera so that this thing isn't going anywhere. Now, next thing you want to do is turn the receiver on and then turn the transmitter on and they should link up just like that. So I'm going to turn this on and then put the microphone on myself. Now, as soon as I plug the adapter cable in to the camera, we should see the volume go on. Check, check. Perfect. We got her. Okay, so apart from the obvious of it being wireless, it's actually built really well. All the pieces are made from really nice metal. They're not cheap plastic. And I actually thought that that would make it uh, heavier, but because everything's actually so much smaller, everything's actually lighter. So that's actually a plus. And one bonus is actually the input comes with a screw on thing. So, you know, you can't knock it out and you can always count on it being secure. Now I've tested out other wireless microphones, but this one actually seems to have the most range. The other ones I've tested only went about 60 feet and you know, that just doesn't really cut it sometimes, especially for weddings. And you know, you need way more distance than 60 feet a lot of the time. One of the best things about this is that both the receiver and the transmitter are both rechargeable, so you don't have to worry about fumbling around with batteries or any of that sort of thing. But also, it also comes with a bright blue backlit LED screen, which is actually very easy to see and especially easy to see in the dark, which is really important. The best part by far with this microphone is actually the clip that comes for the receiver on top of the camera or for your hot shoe mount. I've used other wireless microphones and they don't come with that and you're forced to have the receiver dangling at the side and that's actually given me connection issues in the past where I've lost sound and it's been, you know, a real big drag. So that's actually one of the best pieces about this thing. I can't stress that enough. That alone makes this microphone worth buying over other ones. Okay, so I've got uh, the receiver rigged up on top of the microphone using that little hot shoe mount, cold shoe mount. Is it cold shoe? I forget. So that is a definite plus. It might rain here. It's also very windy, so I thought it was a good time to test this microphone. I have it underneath my coat here, as you can see, just to see how it sounds also underneath some clothes because it's usually easier to hide them that way. If you can see that yellow pail over there, that's the 100 foot mark. It says this can go up to 100 feet, so we're going to test that right now. Okay, hopefully you can hear me right now. I've got the receiver in my pocket, as you can see. Check, check, I'm getting about halfway. This is about the 50 foot mark. Hopefully you can hear me, I'm not sure. Check, check, still talking. I'm getting close to the yellow pail now. Check, check, hopefully you can still hear me. You should be able to still hear me. If not, there could be some stuff going on because of the wind and everything, but I'm gonna go a little further just to test it. I don't know if you can still hear me or not, but I'm definitely at a good 125 feet. So I'm walking back now. I wonder if there's been any interferences. Because sometimes that's what I found with the last microphone that I reviewed is it kept cutting in and out. I mainly thought that was because of the connection at the top or at the receiver end, sorry. So we'll see if I get it. I shouldn't get any issues with this because this one comes with a clip, but let's go inside and see how this worked out. 
Okay, so I'm back in the studio, and what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna put the Hotec mic up against a couple other different microphones, just so you can see the quality difference between all four of them. Right now I'm using the Slate microphone through the Apollo, which is obviously gonna be the best results, because that's a little more of an expensive setup. But I'm also gonna put it up against a $25 wired lav microphone, as well as the internal microphone on the A6500. So right now I'm using the Slate microphone. Right now I'm using the cheaper wired lav mic. Right now I'm using the wireless Hotec microphone. And now I'm using the internal mic on the Sony A6500. So this microphone has actually proven to be well worth the money. I mean, it's only about $75, give or take. You can actually get a pack of two of them to make it even cheaper, but I don't really have anything negative to say about this one. I have used some other wireless microphones in the past and they haven't worked as well, but I really have no issues with this one. It's small, it's rechargeable, it feels durable. Again, the clip alone is worth the extra 10, $15. But that's all I got for now. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you like that video. I've got lots more on the way. I'm gonna put this mic up against the other Fifine microphone as well just to see how that goes. But stay tuned and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.